scam. If you're somebody who pays attention to patterns and how things evolve, you should have maybe asked the question like, how, how does somebody like, let's say uh, um, Bill Gates consistently be at the top of his game for, for 20, 30 years? Now, us growing up hearing the name Bill Gates in primary school, right? Do we remember that? Anybody? Is there anybody here who grew up hearing the name of Bill Gates in primary school, secondary school? Nobody? I did so. Okay, um, Joshua, yes. Pamela, good. Gillian, yes. Excellent. So now, and 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 of course, if you're if you're if you're somebody who if you're a lady and you're very conscious, you must have grew up like in your secondary school days, you must have been hearing about Oprah Winfrey, right? Or you must have been hearing about um, so many great people at a very young age, and till now, you still get to hear about them. They're still at the top of their game. One thing that is certain about that is it's there is something that separates them from other people. Like one of you actually observe and ask me that question that you somebody asked me that um that since you got to know me a few years back you have noticed that there's always like i'm always kind of consistently on the news yearly you see and something like that doesn't happen by chance it doesn't just happen right and another concept could be like somebody was asking me how do you create content every day like how do you write every day and it's never repeated let's say and sometimes in the day i have two three articles i get to write and and it's not like i create special time for content creation like really but there is something there is a process there is a system or you may ask yourself what do people like uh, um let's say Mark Zuckerberg, what do they do to to create an incredible company like Facebook Incorporated. And year after year, they keep on releasing very new ideas and perspectives around it. You should, you should look at that. Is it that they have different minds than you? Is it that God created them differently and all of that? Yes, mm -hmm. you guys may have some different similarities, but everybody has a mind. Everybody has the muscle called the mind. And it takes a certain level of of intentionality to actually uh, uh, um, do that. So it is critical that you understand what is popularly called ideas of the infinite, infinite ideas or limitless ideas. This is where you get to a realm whereby you are always having limitless ideas, you see. And it, it, it doesn't happen by chance. It takes a lot of, of intentionality and you developing that atmosphere, you, you understanding the framework that you can employ to always generate new ideas or infinite ideas, you see. So suppose that we wish to draw from the universal mind some definite ideas some guidance, some information, some leading. These are the kind of things that you have to draw from, from God's own ecosystem. You draw from the universal mind, which is God or God's own ecosystem. Everybody always wish to do that, to, to, to collect some guidance, to collect some, some, some kind of superior information, to collect some kind of direction, some kind of leading or some kind of ideas. The question is, how do you do this? Because you need to first of all ascertain that there is a higher power that can release to you some, some, some ideas, some guidance, some information, some directions, some leading. You need to be conscious about that. Your, your human capabilities is not enough. That's why I always say that, um, one of my quotes, I wrote down something happened to me in 2015, and I wrote a quote and I said, there is a level in your life where human capabilities are going to fail you, and that is when divine capabilities set in and set you apart. And you need to be very conscious. There is a level where in your life, 
where your human capabilities are going to fail you. And at that particular moment, divine capabilities step in and they only step in when you recognize that it exists. That's why one of the most powerful secrets in God's kingdom to tap into his goodness is recognition or what you can call recognition is like to me is like the big brother of worshiping right when you worship god you're trying to recognize him the recognition is beyond just beautiful words and so on there is that consciousness where you have ascertained where you have believed where you have established where you are you are not doubting where you are super conscious that there is a higher power there is the higher ecosystem that you have to recognize that can release some level of guidance, some information, some leading, and some ideas to you. Follow this session very carefully because ideas separate men from boys. Ideas separate average men from the men you respect in the society. If you catch this, Maybe that door that is separating you from your life that you desire could just be one single mind going a year that will set you on the platform that will change your life forever. Ideas, if you operate from a realm where you have the ability to create, and, and that's where strategists and consultants come in. Why do people just sit and they are confused and they reach out to, 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 to me or they reach out to another consultant or strategist? Because not everybody function from that realm first and not everybody understand how to do that and this is me teaching you the framework to get it done and yet and everybody here can do it i don't care at what level of education what way where you're listening from what you're going through right now anybody can embody this and start operating from that realm so don't uh, have a very clear decision making framework that i'm going to make after this after this session so one of the first one of the first elements in this framework of uh, operating in ideas of the infinite is that you have to recognize that there is a higher ecosystem you have to intentionally recognize that there is god there is a supreme being that has all the intelligence that has all the ideas that has all the power there's a supreme being that is never wrong that has everything to give you in terms of superior guidance in terms of superior information in terms of superior leading in terms of superior direction in terms of superior ideas you have to recognize that and this recognition is is it is, is, is that practice right saying with your words for example and not just saying but you have this belief that is certified in your heart is stamped in your heart that's why i, I shared that that stuff in the group maybe you now know why i shared it i shared in the group that in every stage of your life always have this consciousness that was a huge huge secret i shared with you guys an average christian will just go and say amen and just take everything to be very religious, which is, I don't have anything wrong with that. But I needed, you know what I said, read it again, right? In every stage of your life, always have this consciousness. The power of God is there to outlast that unpalatable situation. No situation has power more than the divine ecosystem, except except there is a condition no matter how god is powerful if you are wrong when i mean wrong if you are wrong in your mindset your habits how you talk how you think how you relate with people with your society god's power is useless when your ecosystem is useless never forget that except your own ecosystem gives that situation power through your wrong thinking pattern so the first condition for you to tap infinite ideas is recognize that there is a supreme power. Number two is for you to convince yourself that you can, you can, um, how do I put it? It's for you to convince yourself that you have the ability to collect 
from God's divine ecosystem. Yes. After recognition is conviction. You need to convince yourself that you can, you have the ability, you have the right, you have the power, you have the, the intelligence. Your ecosystem can collect from God's own ecosystem. What are you collecting again? You have the ability, you have convinced yourself that you can collect divine ideas, you can collect superior guidance, you can collect some information, and you can collect some leading. You see? Because one thing is that when, you do, when you're not convinced, what happened? You are filled with trouble that divine melody is never heard. Yes, many, many of us, many human beings are filled with troubles, with confusions, with life issues that we don't have the ability to be to convince ourselves to collect these su su supreme ideas and supreme information from God. Like, for example, to create the concept of like Peak Performance Academy and the activities I create, it's not that I read this in a book where I go and read from somewhere and then I come and just copy and paste. No, I, I go through a whole creation process from ground up. So the question is, where do these ideas come from? They don't, nothing comes from the air. There should be a cause and there should be an effect. But trust me, if you're always troubled, you're always angry, your mind is not focused, you're always busy. That's why you need to be careful about television intoxicating you and movies and wrong friends and the kind of things you have because that contributes to the, your troubles of life. You see? So if we could see, if we could hear, if we could understand, if we only realize the presence of the all, the presence of the Supreme God or the presence of the almighty ecosystem, what can we not do? That is the question that Holmes is asking us. Follow that again. If we could see that there is a supreme ecosystem called God, if we could realize consciously the presence of this ecosystem, if we could hear God's voice or God's ecosystem, if we could understand how God's ecosystem works with our own ecosystem, the question is what could we not do? What can you not create? That's the question, what can you not create? But the point is that that's why only 2% of the people of the population get to make it to a certain extent, to that supreme level of performance, because only them are willing to pay the price. Let's not go far. In the PPA community, we are about 72 or so. And of course, let's assume that some people are not here because of internet issues, just about, let's say, a few people. The rest, what they are not here, they could be a reason. And trust me, one thing is that when you have reasons, they always sound very good to your ear. <laughs> you know that. That's one thing about, about life. It will sound so sweet, so, so very true. Like, so I, told you, I was very tired. Oh, that's very good. You know, it sounds so sweet. And then when someone says you're very tired, when you start asking questions, and it's better you actually spend them for more than four hours. But you know, sometimes I now look at, okay, maybe um, I, I just flew into the country and most flights come into Cameroon very late at night before you check out and all of that is 1 a.m. and so and I'm rushing from this into Bonaberry, it's almost two and so, and then maybe I, I get to be up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. to be with you guys. And I don't think my voice is gonna sound different, but trust me, I can see give myself that excuse I'm so tired. You know, I, I just came in from an 11 hours flight, blah, blah, blah. Or I just came in from Yaoundé, from, from a five hours journey. I was stuck in traffic for an hour. I could also give all of those excuses, you know? And, and the, as I said, they, they always sound so valid to you, eh? very valid. They always sound so sweet, so legal. In short, it's like you're defending it in court and the court, the, the, the judge says, you know, court rise. This guy deserves to be to rest and all of that, you see? And they'll always be there. There's never a day that you will not find excuses as far as your life is concerned. But, but there is a but. We have to choose to see things differently. Okay, the, the third way, the third way that you can receive 
ideas from the infinite or from God's own ecosystem is that you must find the time, you must find the ability to be quiet within yourself. Yes. You must find the ability to be quiet within thyself. You must not be confused by any outward appearance. Never be disturbed by effects. Yes. Like you must, you must have this power to be quiet within thyself. It doesn't mean that you just find and go sit in one place. Oh, that it's beyond that. That's why I look at the second sentence. It says, you must not be confused by any outward appearance. Like you must not be confused by what somebody is doing, doing beside you. Because somebody bought a car doesn't mean that you should be worried about it and start comparing yourself. You are not quiet within yourself. You need to, you need to go beyond that level. Because your friend is recording more success than you, you must not be worried about it and, and don't let that affect you. You must learn how to, to appreciate and celebrate that friend where you still have a lot of peace and quietness within thyself and you understand that you are in that process of manifesting your own version of success, your own version of greatness. Don't let somebody else's version of greatness affects your own version of greatness that you're expecting and lead you to confusion and to regret and to start thinking that you your life is not worth it when you have that level of mentality you are not quiet within thyself you are breaking a law already so if you see that uh, um, Dodian or Beckley or, 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 or Wazinu has done something what do you do? As somebody is quiet within that self, you celebrate them and honor them for who they are. But you still have some peace. You are still quiet within thyself. You don't let that outward appearance confuse you. You never become disturbed by the effects of what is happening around you or by the society. You get a point? So that is you being quiet within that self. Of course, still creating time to sit and just study to sit and just reevaluate your day, to sit and just visualize your tomorrow is very powerful. Now, this is the second part. Now, this, this, this is the quietness itself. Now, where you see this is a third way to collect ideas from the infinite. You need to be quiet. You sit in a place and you are quiet until you realize the presence of absolute intelligence all around you. Yes, you find a place and you sit and you're quiet. Like if you're a Christian where you create time to just worship God, if you understand that sometimes when you start to worship God or you're singing a song or a praise song or just dancing, or even sometimes let's say you're just um, doing let's say laundry or you're doing or you're washing dishes or you're cleaning the floor. And let's say you play a worship song or you play um, a praise song or you play an inspirational song. In the first few minutes sometimes, you are just singing the words. But when you understand that there's sometimes it's like your body enters a different realm. It's like something starts happening it's because you, 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 you have been singing for a while and your mind has been experiencing some form of a quietness process. And when you enter that realm, you start understanding the song differently or you start feeling very different, right? You start connecting very different. So there's that process. So you need to learn how to be quiet in a situation or you in a room or in 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 in, in, a, in, a, in a natural atmosphere you're quiet until you realize the presence of absolute intelligence all around you you see the next step that you can collect from the infinite is get a perfect picture of just what you desire yes get the perfect picture of just what you desire. Get that perfect picture of what you desire. You cannot get a picture unless you know what it is you want. That's why I don't, like for those uh, uh, mentees, when, when, when we're talking, I like, I always push you to give me numbers. I think yesterday, one of the mentees said, I want to improve my finances. And I gave, I sent her about conditions. And, and, and she said, you know what? Um, so I think it was goals for the next week, no, not next week, something, one of the frameworks I work with. And she said, okay, I want to improve my finances. I want to improve my, my work with God. I want to do what, and another thing was, um, I want to improve my mental capabilities. So that's good. So I sent her questions back. It's, give me exactly an amount when I make by next year, December, 
enterprise in an exact amount. Number two, you say you want to improve your work with God. What does that mean? How many times will you study the Bible a day? What time are you going to wake up studying the Bible? What will you do when you study the Bible? And all of that, very specific. He spoke about mental intelligence. Give me the time, give me the date, uh, give, not the date, give me the time that you study every day, give me the books that you read for the next three months, and all of that. So I, I need you to give me a clear, perfect picture of what you desire. You control these things, whether you like it or not. And one, one funny thing about us humans is that we minimize the power of the human spirit. We minimize, and we, when we leave things to chance, that's one disadvantage, we leave things very often, the other ecosystem which is not in your favor will force things into your life that you don't deserve them. You get bad news which you are not supposed to get the bad news. You get distractions, you get failures, you, you get things that are not adding value to your life because you were just there. Your life was too open for the, 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 the gentle guy who moves up and down looking for who to devour to just come into you. Because and it's easy for him to find people like that and, and work with them because they don't have any guard. You know, when you have a clear mental picture, clear goals and clear conscious and intentionality, that is already a guard that you have set around your life that the, the roaring moving up and down there is a man. You can like and call the devil and who sometimes come to you in the name of very close friends and family members. You get a point? Be very careful about that. The next thing that you need to do, I hope you guys are taking notes, you should do to collect from the infinite is put your mind in touch with the universal mind. Right? How do you do that? Saying just what you are waiting for. That's the next uh, um, um, element to collect from um, 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 God's on ecosystem, infinite ideas. Put your mind in touch with the universal mind, with God's own mind. And how do you do that? Saying just what you are waiting for. Yes, use your mouth and say what you desire to happen. That's why I, I, I was teaching in the church one time and I said, one of the most powerful spiritual things in church are declaration. The thing that a man of God can stand on an altar of start and they begin to declare. People who have the consciousness to understand the power in declarations is very, and one thing about declaration is that anybody can declare as long as you understand. The difference is just the consciousness. It's just that some people are in a lower level of understanding where the only thing they are good at doing is receiving declarations. Very few get to declare from their own uh, uh, level of, of consciousness or operations, right? So put your mind in touch with the universal mind by saying just what you're waiting for, or what you desire, by asking for what you deserve. That's another way to do that, to, to stay, to put in touch with your mind with God's mind. Asking for what you think you deserve, the next is believing that you are receiving it and wait for it. This is the hard part in this particular element. Believing that you are is a continuous process. So there's something you can ask in 2021 and you can receive in 2030. Like there are many things that I'm receiving now, I wrote them down in 2011. And that's one thing that you need to be very conscious. Not everything that when you embark on goals, always try to anticipate and be very generous with time. There are things I've written down that I know that are gonna happen 20 years after. And when you when you have that clear understanding or clear revelation of time, you stop putting yourself under unnecessary pressure. You just keep on doing the things that you have to do one day at a time with the consciousness that you are operating from the realm where you are receiving what you ask for and there is a place for waiting and there's a place for waiting and working, waiting and strategically positioning yourself. There's a place of waiting and growing. There's a place of waiting and changing. There's a place of waiting and enhancing results. There's a place of waiting and studying. There's a place of waiting and receiving mentorship and coaching. You need to be conscious of, 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 of that. Good. So that is an, an, another element. The last, uh, uh, the second to the last elements to receive from 
infinite ideas from God's own ecosystem is. Um, if, if, if you are in a quiet, if you have taken time in a quiet moment to connect with God's intelligence, after a few minutes of that connection of your quiet time, open your mouth and declare that you now know, even though you may not seem to see it now, but you now know that it is happening for your sake, right? And in that deep consciousness, you have received whatever you ask for. Yes, that's why if, if you read the biographies of guys who have made it, they have a lot of morning declarations that they do before they leave the house. And these are guys that some are not even Christians. Then they tap into these spiritual laws better than some of us who go to church. You see, and you will not do just in the morning. You can just sometimes you just remember within the day and you do some declarations, but with, with consciousness, not just doing it because you think you should be talking to yourself or speaking loud. Right? The next thing is give thanks that you now receive. Yes. Give thanks that you now receive. So this assume that you have been in a quiet place and you have declared that you get an idea that will change your life, change your business, and so on. Just uh, the next step is for you to give thanks back to God's own ecosystem. Thank you for releasing these new ideas to me. Thank you for the supreme information. Thank you for directions. Thank you that I have been able to get clarity in the midst of this confusion. Do this, and here's a condition for giving thanks. Do this every day until you get what you ask for. So it means that if you ask some, this is what separates them, uh, uh, guys who get it and guys who don't get it. If you ask for something, you can give thanks for that thing for the next five to 10 years until you get it. The point is that an average man is going to give up after a few days of not getting it. And they will be like, oh, that thing doesn't work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, it's all right. But you know what separate the guys who finally get it from the guys who don't get it is their willingness to keep on giving thanks to God on ecosystem to God to, until you are able to get what you desire. A few days back, I wrote a quote and I shared in a group. I said, sometimes in entrepreneurship, many times entrepreneurship, what separate those who made it and those who failed is that those who made it persevered a little more than those who gave up. That's a very important thing in business. Sometimes you look at some of the things that you did not end up having, and you look at those that you started at the same time with, the difference between you two is not that they were very intelligent more than you, or they were performing better than you. No, the difference is that they persevered a little more than you. You easily gave up. You see, next point is never after you have done this, like after you are, your declarations after your quiet time, after you have written down things, after your belief, your consciousness have been have been have, have been redesigned. Never after you have done all of these actions, deny the knowledge that you have been given. That is that is self-doubt or doubting if God's own ecosystem has released this thing to you. Never ever do that. Consist even though you are not seeing the realities, always believe. This is what I always tell myself when I'm when I ask for something, I'm doing something, I'm not achieving what I what I, what I desired. I always say that, okay, God, you know what? I don't know whatever is happening, but I just believe that you are working something behind the scenes, which is not my business to know what you're doing, but my business at this particular point in time is to trust you that whatever you're working behind the scenes is for my good, is for, is for the good of my career and my business. That's what I say. So I just have this consciousness that there's something being done behind the scenes that I am not permitted to know what is happening at this particular moment. My job is to trust. My job is to stay with the right mindset. My job is to continue doing the right habit. My job is to protect my atmosphere. My job is to grow myself. My job is to stretch myself. My job is to become better. While whatever God, whatever he is doing with his ecosystem and my ecosystem, my job is to believe that whatever is happening behind the scenes is for my perfect good. And my job is, I don't know when it's going to happen, when it's going to be released to my own atmosphere, but my job is to wait with the right attitude, with the right mindset, with the right habit, the right environment, and so on. So therefore, I should never deny the knowledge that Whatever I ask for or whatever I'm working towards has not been given to me, right? 
But the point is that I should believe that the time will come. The time will come. You and I should believe that the time will come when some of the things we ask for, when some of the ideas that we ask for will begin to take form, will begin to take shape, will begin to fit in. You see, that's why I look at sometimes the things that if for those of them in entering their group stage or they're entering their, um, their pre-success stage, some of the things you wish for, if they're seeing some form, if they're seeing some, some resemblance, some, some fetus, like, like a baby, then you start like a, an egg, a fetus, a baby and all of that, right? Yes. So and sometimes they even see the egg. There's no egg at all. It's just in the air. You see. But in that stage, it doesn't mean that miracles are not happening. It doesn't mean that creation is not happening. It's like a pregnant woman. Between the first, second month, the third month, they don't even see the pregnancy. They don't even see anything. But it doesn't mean that there is no creation process. No. It doesn't mean that. It means something is happening. That there is a massive creation process. There is fertilization. There is um, um, the eggs meeting the eggs, there is the fetus being formed, the fetus of the baby. Something is going on, but you are not seeing it. You are not feeling it. But it's just a belief. The, the pregnant woman carrying it believes that she is pregnant. She, she's seeing some sign that the idea of the baby is forming. And that's the same thing that you and I need to believe as far as our careers, our businesses, and the legacies that we desire to leave in the society is concerned. It's our job to do that. You see, the next element to do when you, when you ask you desire to receive from, from, from God's own ecosystem is wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, there is a place of waiting in the journey of success. There are many things I have waited for in my personal life. There are many things great people like Elon Musk and Dan Gute, they have waited for in their life. You and I, we have to learn how to wait. The one thing with this generation is that somebody called it a microwave generation. The one la la la, immediate, immediate. But you cannot take away the principle of waiting in the equation of success. That's why, some, as I told you guys at the beginning of this PPA community, for those who were there from the beginning, some of these things we are doing right now, some of you are going to feel blessed about it two years from now, five years from now. So we are going to realize this sacrifice. You're going to look back at what? You know, I, I, I am happy I did not miss out on these activities that are so, that, that, that are defining my life today. I, I think I share with you guys how somebody sent me 50,000 francs, which the things I used to teach them in 2015 and 14 in Kumbu is now that they're seeing the result manifesting in their life tangibly. You see, wait for it. And when it does appear, act upon it with all the conviction. Yes, wait for it. And when the ideas come, when, when, when the ideas have formed itself, when you have received proof of what entrepreneurs like to call minimum viable product, act upon it with all conviction that you are in the right path, you're in the right direction. Yes, be careful not to ask for something. And when it comes, you start doubting, am I in the right path or not? That means you started the wrong way. So before you ask, be sure that you are asking for what you deserve and you're asking for what you want to do for the rest of your life. You see, it's like maybe me, I was asking, I keep asking them, okay, God, I need to do my training and continue. I'm asking all of these, and then maybe when the, when the training platforms are coming or whatever's happening, I start asking them, God, oh, am I really supposed to be doing this thing? It's wrong, very wrong in the journey of success. You need to be absolutely convicted that this is your path. It's either this own, that, that's where this one says that there's a level you get into that there's no plan B. It's either plan A or no plan at all. As simple as that. It's either this path or no other path. Strategies are going to change. Goals are going to be upgraded. The vision is going to upgrade. Many things are going to change. But you see this path? This is the path that I'm walking for the next 80 years from now. There's no uh, I'm, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. You see, lastly, you have received understanding straight from the source of all understanding. Yes. So you have to be conscious that when you ask anything from God's own ecosystem, when you ask anything from God, when, you, when, when your ecosystem, when your atmosphere is structured and designed to ask anything from God's own ecosystem, I want you to have this in mind. You have received understanding straight 
from the source of all understanding, and that's God. You have received superior direction from the source of all direction. You have received superior knowledge from the source of all knowledge. That means it's never wrong. The understanding you received is not wrong. The knowledge you received is not wrong. All can do this. All humans can do this if only we can persist in these elements I have shared with us. It is a sure direction and guidance that will never fail us. Yes. Receiving from God on ecosystem, receiving from God, it is a sure direction and guidance that will never ever fail us. As I conclude, as I always say, one of the greatest secrets in life is to operate from that realm where you know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. I always tell you guys, like in consulting and strategy and all of that, people come to pain not because they don't know what to do, but they, they, they are doubting that it's in the right path. Did I design the product right? Did I do this right? So they're coming to people who they believe that maybe have this superior knowledge, this superior grace. That like there's one time, I don't know if I showed you guys one time, one woman came to the office about two months ago. She, she really challenged me. She came and she was very clear. She was very, this, this were her words. Then Mr. Joy, but um, yeah, one hour session, they told me one time that it was 75,000 francs. And she removed 75,000 francs and kept on the table in the office. Then here we, we are, what? I just want to tell you my life plan and my plan actions for the next five years. All I need you to do is confirm with me that I am on the right path. That's all I need you to do. And if there are things that you can correct to make sure that I'm on the right path, feel free to do so. But my main aim of being here today is for you to guarantee me to confirm that this path I have chosen and these plans I have in place are the right plans for me to start pursuing. Those were her words. And then guess what? She spoke for over 30 minutes. My job was to shut up and listen and take notes. So when I've come to my office, and I always have block notes on my stuff. When the client comes in, I take whatever you're saying, I'm taking down notes. I'm analyzing. I'm asking myself questions, writing down questions for you. And at the end, I just ask her a few questions about her background, career, or educational background, whatever, whatever, so that I can be able to use that, 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 that data and then use my faith and her faith, her spirit and my spirit, and agree with her that she's in the right path. And that was all she needed. And until today, that woman is on fire for her path. She told me one time just recently that, you know, I face challenges, but as long as I am sure that I am in the right path, those challenges are like breakfast. That, like, you know, I would like to say that challenges to a successful person are like breakfast, right? That is it. So you need to have that consciousness because it's a very, very powerful gift in the journey of, of success. All right, people, that is it for today, for today's session. And it was long. I knew it was going to be this long because I wanted us to cover this, the whole framework of the ability to collect infinite ideas from God's own ecosystem. Excellent. All right, people, let's chit chat.